Utah in a state of emergency tonight as heavy snowpack and higher temperatures could pose risk for flooding, avalanches, and mudslides. With Jamie McGriff, I'm Brian Schnee. So the question is, was enough money earmarked by state lawmakers for flood mitigation to begin with? It's our top story tonight on 2 News at 6. And I'm Jamie McGriff. Thank you for joining us. Wendy Halloran is here with answers to that question. Wendy. The state of emergency now allows the state to tap into separate disaster recovery funds and for the state to seek aid from the federal government. I sat down with the Senate chair of the Executive Appropriations Committee to see how this is going to work now and spoke with a House member of that committee for her take. Was that enough money? Governor Cox's emergency declaration indicates that the $5 million the state legislature appropriated for flood emergencies and mitigation has been depleted. Uh, no, but you know, we were in the middle of a drought when we, when we appropriated that $5 million and we kind of added it on. State Senator Jerry Stevenson is a Senate chair of the Executive Appropriations Committee. State Representative Carrie Ann Lizenby is a member of that committee. It is actually a bit un unprecedented how much we put toward flood preparation this year. By declaring a state of emergency, the state can tap into a restricted account to support flood response and mitigation efforts. Currently, it has $10 million in it, I believe. Senator Stevenson says the state has large reserve funds they can access. We think there's there's probably uh, maybe even a couple of billion dollars that would be available in an emergency situation. So how does that work? Some can be appropriated by the chairs of the committee, House Speaker, Senate President, and Governor. Other reserves would require bringing the legislature back into session. There's several million dollars set aside for fire prevention in the state of Utah right now. Now, the legislature could, could come together in a special session and we could move that money from fire to flood if we needed to very quickly. Money could be moved around but that could mean placing some projects on the back burner. There's a billion dollars in our highway funds. Well we can go in and slow those highway projects that won't all be spent this year. So then other projects would take a back seat then? They would. Is that but, accurate uh, to but say? But that would give us additional legislative sessions to decide how to how to approach the, the completion of those projects. Now, Representative Carrie Ann Lizenby also says lawmakers are participating as volunteers to help mitigation efforts in their own communities. She also says if you have any questions or need help to reach out. Wendy Halloran, KUTV, 2 News.